and welcome to Mystic Star Magic. I am so happy that you are here. So today we're doing a mini reading for the new moon. Um, and this new moon has an eclipse, <laughs> so it's a big one. Uh, but whenever you read, get this, whenever you're watching this, it's meant for you. <sighs> so <clears throat> very excited to be doing this. I, as you, I'm, I'm trying to do at Reiki, so I'm going to kind of have a Reiki to... Well, the new moon is usually a place of, of starting, um, beginning something. So I'm going to kind of, that's the Reiki energy I'm going to be doing for this reading. So this is a quick one. It's not going to be a long reading. And just thank you so much for being here. Thank you for letting me read your cards, whether you're one of my old friends or whether it's your new friend who's just checking out my channel. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. It really does mean a lot to me. So I'm going to go ahead and show you each card. So this is um, pile one. This is pile two. And just listen to your intuition when it comes to like choosing the piles. And this is pile three. See? Okay. Now we're going to take a deep breath in, close our eyes, and clear our mind. And now as we exhale, open our eyes. I choose whichever pile draws you to it. All right, let's do it. So I wanted to tell you which oracles are here. So this is the Queen of the Moon Oracle. Um, and so I really do like it, so I do recommend it. This is the Autumn's Delight by the Love and Tarot. It's a really amazing oracle, too. This is my um, Mystic Night uh, Spooky Halloween. I just, like, call it that, but oracle. It's actually for, like... All sorts of stuff and I do like it too so you can find these two on Etsy um, and this is the um, which is familiar runic oracle <laughs> so everything this one I think you can find on Amazon <laughs> and this one you can find like I uh, like I said Etsy or eBay and hopefully you like it thank you for, for being here hopefully stick around for the week Hello, my friends from group one, pal one. Um, so we're trying a new setup. Um, <laughs> somebody was very awesome and left me um, some feedback and said that sometimes you can't see all the cards. So I'm laying them out first so I know that you can see them. And so hopefully that will help. All right, so this is all about pal one. This is the new moon energy and this is gonna be a big one. I actually quite love your energy. Um, for the new moon right here uh, and we do have a, a moon card that we're going to take a look at in a little bit but i did want to talk about the rune that you chose this is a rune um and this is izinga if i'm not <laughs> if i'm not mistaken <laughs> i'm like oh, oh oh la 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 i need to have it here sorry <laughs> i'm actually learning about runes so here we go in inguaza inguaz inguaz we're gonna see it oh and i love it look it's creation wholeness energetic burst harmony and evolution oh i love it so much because i'm feeling about creation definitely with the consciousness and projection and then with the knight of cups so what i see is that with like because with the new moon it's for me like something that's starting and you, um, I actually want to say, so you are, I feel like you are creating this, this new moon, especially I'm going to make sure that you can see it still there. Okay. You are, yeah, in a, in a state of creating, I will say like with this consciousness here, it's kind of letting me know that I feel like you're creating a shift in, I would say consciousness and shift in how you view the world of a shift in how you view yourself and here i almost want to say and i really like this because i feel like there's a little bit of, uh, of attraction here but it's also more than that it's, it's sort of like you are projecting like all the different things that you've been wanting all the dreams that you've been having with the knight of cups it, it for some of you it might be that you're projecting like love coming into your life but for others of you i feel like it's almost like you're letting your heart lead this time not your head not what other people not it's it's sort of like you're giving all of that off like you're just putting that off it's like not important anymore what's important to you is really creating from your heart 
Um, and so I want to say like almost creating your, the life you've been dreaming of, the life that you've been wanting. Um, it, for some of you, yes, it could be about love. And if it is about love <laughs> or if it's about abundance, you should check out the videos that I made. How to like, there's a how to attract love and then there's also how to attract abundance. So those are, are good videos I think you, I would recommend for you. And so, but it all starts from your consciousness and that's an important thing in your heart. It's sort of like you are letting your heart, I mean, your true heart, not the ego heart, but the true heart kind of like, because the night is always the, the motion, like there's always motion, the night brings about motion. And so what I'm seeing is that your heart, you're letting your heart guide you using also your mind, possibly affirmations, visualizations, it's where, where you're projecting what you want, where you're projecting the, the life that you want. And I really love this because I feel like you are being proactive. And with this is sort of like the strength card. And so with this, like, and, and with the line, it's sort of like, and the strength, it's to me, the strength card is always, um, the true strength comes from, I, I always think from within and, and not from having to force things. And I feel like there's also another thing that comes from, from this. It's sort of like you're not really forcing. It's coming from within, like maybe sometimes you, you'll struggle and, and then you're like, you'll put your mind again. It's like, okay, why am I doing this? Following your heart. And then you're like, okay, I can do this again. But not like just, um, <clears throat> when you're struggling. No, this is a different kind because it's like a change and all the desires are coming from your heart um, and changing. I would say this is even bigger than you know because you're actually not just changing um, like the life, you're not just getting the life that you want, but it's almost like you're changing who you are in a big, in a big sense. You're finally getting to be that, that the, I would say your highest self. So kudos to you let's see what your um card here and it's beauty okay so the winding gives so beauty in here again we have the 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 um, butterflies so it's a sense of transformation i almost again if you actually see here it's it's actually flowers that create this um create this visual effect of a face isn't that like amazing um so I, to me, it's sort of like you are blossoming, you are blooming. Um, and then there's also for me here, it's seeing things. I, I really keep seeing like seeing things not as, um, as they are, but rather how you are wanting, envisioning what you want to happen and letting it happen and like letting your heart guide you. <laughs> Sorry, there's a little tale here. Um, my friend has said it that he loves. Um, watching me do reading so <laughs> so thank you so much for being here I feel very good for you <laughs> about this I, I do love this energy for you group one if you like this reading please do consider giving it a thumbs up and please do consider subscribing um it just helps the channel grow and it helps me come back for more and just and just thank you <laughs> thank you for for giving me a chance thank you for coming back and just I hope all your dreams do come true. So thank you so much for being here. I am sending you a giant hug. And until I see you in the next one, bye-bye, my dear friends. <music> dear friends. Oh, <laughs> so thank you so much for being here, group two. I am sorry. <laughs> There's a little buddy who's been helping me recently. And so he just kind of does whatever he wants. <laughs> so I'm trying something new because um, I had feedback that sometimes you can't see all the cards. And so I'm trying to, not that you can see the cards here, uh, but that's just because my little friend is staying there. But so we're going to try to do this, but I do have uh, this moon card for us later. So thank you for being here. my. If you're new, thank you so much <laughs> for giving me a chance. And if you're one of my old friends, oh, I'm so glad you're back. And thank you for always coming back. All right, so let's talk about this. <laughs> you have a lot of like, well, you even have the moon here and that's a, a pretty strong statement, okay? But let's talk about this, which is what you chose. This is Otala, Otala, yep. Yeah. And this is all about home inheritance. I'm learning about moon, so <laughs> good prosperity, heritage, and ancestors, okay? So what I'm seeing here is almost like, well, I'm actually going <laughs> to 
kind of an interesting one. So I do feel like with this um, inheritance and, and, and I, I kind of almost feel like it, and even heritage, I think this is a really good um, time for you with this curiosity and moon. Um, and even here with the divine masculine here, but it, it to me it's almost like right now is a very good time for you to maybe be curious about your gifts, um, psychic gifts, I would say, are, are even here. You also have the, like here we have the energy of cancer, which is, like, it, to me, it's very much, oh, wow, I'm, wow, sorry, I have to, like, cause look at this, you have, like, this, like, karmic, but you also have this, like, I think that's, like, a crap, too, but not a crap, crap, that might, might well, model off, so there's a, a special name for that but they you have this in common so maybe you are um like a, a, a water element but what i'm also seeing is sort of like digging deep into um digging deep into your emotions digging deep into um your subconscious um mind but it, it to me it's also like your subconscious beliefs like what um uh, especially where you are i almost feel like because it also kind of draws me here that the, the shell the shell here is kind of very abundant so if you are if you've been struggling with abundance um yeah if you've been struggling with abundance there's a sense here of like you are naturally abundant and so if there's a bit of um a blockage there there's there it's something deeper it's something that that does to me i feel like comes from your come from maybe uh a false belief, if you will. And there might be something with that. I also feel like there's a sense here. This divine masculine, it's almost like, well, when I look at the divine masculine, it's very much action, right? So it's it's not just enough to have the curiosity, but to actually delve within deeply in there. Um, I also, for some of you, I feel like there is a, a or this can kind of can be a little bit of a, a love reading here in terms of like there's a sense of curiosity coming from your divine <laughs> masculine um wanting to know more but there and like so so it's almost like i feel for some of you there's going to be like a, a psychic <laughs> kind of a communication um because this is a general reading so but overall it's a sort of a sense of not taking things at face value <laughs> Again, um, digging deeper, digging deeper with your own beliefs, right? Is it really true? Is it, is it, are you, like, let's say, are you really not good with money? Like, that could be something. And that might be a belief that you have that you think is a truth, but it is not. It is actually, there's something there that you have to dig deep, but looking at it through curiosity. And again, like taking that action, not just thinking about it, but actually doing it. Um, for others of you, maybe it's a belief that you can't, like that you're not good with, with love. Whatever reason you say, oh, I'm not good with love. Um, uh, again, not not looking at it as like, oh, this is a truth. No, I you have to go dig deeper, deeper, deeper within yourself, deeper um, into see why am I believing all these things because I really feel like um, you are you have a lot to give and you have a lot already I feel like love whether it's love whether it's like you are abundant by nature it's it's an innate um, like not only like it's an like innate gift and innate feeling it's like i almost feel like it's an inheritance right um you have a natural abundance in love you have a natural abundance in 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 like money i and in success i feel like so if there is any blockages right if you've if there's any area in your life where you're just like oh i'm not really like there will be some sort of a statement where you make that's the reason look into that because it doesn't feel and like, this is the right time this is this this new moon is the perfect time because I feel like you are going to uncover the truth um, and maybe even faster and quicker that will that will kind of give you that reasoning you're like okay why am I doing why is this like why am I feeling um, like I, I, I am not good at with money or I'm not good at love or I'm not like whatever it is that you're not <laughs> this is the time to look into it and see where those uh, 
beliefs are incorrect and that's the that's the important thing and and i'm you know yes you can look at why that happened but it the most important thing here is shining that light on the misconception that you have about yourself because like i said you are innately abundant in all aspects and so that's an important thing let's let's see what the moon says here protection oh look at that that's beautiful and so you and and here we even have the shell that could be protected you are like and here is what i'm seeing here definitely you are protected um but i i feel like this this protection comes from ancestors here but i also feel like and, and I can definitely see the protection here with this, but for me, it's actually something else. It's almost like you are, this to me is like a nest, like you're in an egg and the egg is going deep within yourself, going like you're in the process of reinventing yourself. And so, yes, you are protected here and you're taken care of, but in, in this cocoon, but the cocoon here is, is all about going deep and finding out where again like i said those misconceptions are because when you figure that out that's when the rebirth happens it's a very very strong very beautiful reading i am actually quite liking this um also please remember that there is going to be a mini reiki for you um all about letting kind of it is the, the rebirth the beginning for for this um new moon so stick around for that as well thank you so much for being here thank you for um letting me read your cards and just uh you're um really more amazing than i think you give yourself credit for so thank you so much and until i see you in the next one bye bye my dear friends hello my dear friends oh from group three i'm so happy you are here i'm sorry that there's like i'm trying a new way because I did get feedback about not every time you see the cards so I'm trying to make it so that you see all the cards and I know that you're seeing all the cards because once I go into the reading I just kind of forget <laughs> I'm just like Phew. um so I, I do want you to see that but you did choose this which is Isa which I, I do like the even I like the way it sounds um and that's a rune of stillness self-control focus stability and spaces and it's interesting to me that it's um the bat and there's also the transformation here as well and so i want transformation with the moon so that kind of is very much so so stillness okay <laughs> i like this okay so the stillness that i'm seeing here because we have the two of wands um and stick around to the end i do have a um, moon uh, moon card that would that will hopefully tie everything together. So what I'm seeing here is the two of wands, um, which is all about choices. It's, a, it's choosing the, I always like to call it choosing the path, um, but like the less traveled on path, but it's almost like the one that not everybody will take. And so this is a particular one. So I'm feeling like there is a sense of, so you're choosing, I would say something out of the comfort zone. Very good. I like that one better. So you're choosing a path that's going to lead you away from the comfort zone. And that is a-okay because here it is. Here is this transformation. There is in this, in the choice, first of all, there is a transformation. Once you make that decision, once you've chosen, you know, I'm going to go outside of my comfort zone i'm going to go to almost like the unknown right i'm choosing to to go that way there is a sense of transformation here um even just the choice brings about transformation but what i want to say here is that with that choice there has to be a sense of being at home in this transformation and even in this like being at home in the in between right because as a transformation you're still hold you still have the past and you're and you're looking forward the forward to the future but you're still in that in between that in that current state of of being neither here nor there so that we call it i call it the in between so this is where you are at right here so with this new moon you probably feel like you were called to or even before the new moon you're like i'm going to 
get out of my comfort zone. I'm going to whichever I, you know, it could be about career, it could be about love, it could be so many different things, but you're getting out of your comfort zone. Um, and in this, it's almost like being in that, in between the unknown, there needs to be a sense of, of home there. Like there needs to be a sense of comfort there. Um, and it's a very hard thing to achieve because it's sort of like, how, how am I going? Like, cause we always want to have the security of the future or the grounding of the past. And you are right now, I would say living for the moment, <laughs> which is something that I would say most people have a hard time doing, right? We, we, we are all the, we don't really experience the, the present moment, which is understandably because it's kind of hard. <laughs> so if you can find the stability, if you can find that more than just stability, if you can find that comfort, you see, because even though you're at going out of the comfort zone, if you can find like peace, very good, peace in this in between, oh, this, this whole, this everything will be, it will shift and, um, even if there's no motion forward, because I feel like, like right now, I, I really do feel like it's almost like you are within yourself and you made this decision and sort of like now you're applying that decision, right? So applying it to like, how do I go about doing this? It, if you can feel at peace there, it's almost like everything will be much easier for you. Um, versus if you're struggling, <laughs> I get it because I, I struggle with a lot of stuff too okay so and then here is your the void the dark moon um and so that is all about oh, sorry I was interrupted um so we have the void moon <laughs> and that's the dark moon and that's um the place right before um the new moon happens it's actually the void the the, the dark moon and so what I'm seeing here is that you are, you're coming out of that void. That's the, that's the transformation. You are um, saying, okay, I'm done with like, cause the void also like the dark one. It's almost like there's a sense of, <laughs> if you think about it, it's a sense of hopelessness a little bit there, right? Or, or like giving up here, you are stepping out of that. You're finally like, nope, we're done. We're taking, we're transforming. You've made that decision, and and you may think that that decision is a small thing, but it really already has transformed you. And that is why even here, even though this is like, I think the bath here is there for you as well. It's a sense of a rebirth coming through. Um, so it's a very strong. <laughs> this is a strong, strong moon. So don't give up. This is this is not an easy path that you've chosen, but it is one that I think is. Oof, will finally get you to where you want to be. So that's a very beautiful um, message that I really do like. So if you also, if you do want, there is like a, a very short Reiki, like a little mini Reiki for you to help with this energy of the new moon. Um, so check that out. It'll be in the timestamps. And just thank you so much for being here. It really does mean a lot to me. I hope that you liked this reading. And if you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And please do consider subscribing. It helps the channel grow. Or if you even if you, if you can't, maybe like recommending it to our friends, love or loved ones who you think will benefit from any of my readings. So thank you so much for being here. I am sending you a giant hug. And until I see you in the next one, bye bye, my dear friends. Thank you so much for being here for the Reiki. So I'm just going to go ahead and start it off um, with my little sort of prayer. Um, just please let Reiki flow naturally and easily and for the highest good of all. And please let all those who um, are watching this receive the energetic blessings that um, best suits their highest needs. This are better, thank you.
Thank you. I hope you enjoy it.